Hello fellow steel mill modelers, HO scalers. Just got done with my latest project. Instead of building this in place, which is kind of a weird spot to put it, decided to build it right here on top of the black stone. Well, a grill. It's just easier to work on right here. And I just got done with it and big, big, big thanks to Corey for sending me a bunch of actual real blast furnace slag, coke, limestone, rusty rock stuff. This stuff worked out great, Corey. Thank you so much. Because that, without that, this right here would have never been possible. And he also sent me a, uh, a, a slag dump. I'm going to build, or attempt to build, a Cress slag pot carrier. Now the geometry on the dump mechanism is, oh, that's going to be tough. But I'm going to try it anyway. I, I couldn't incorporate it into this because I already had the, you know this idea in my head for like months and I was trying to incorporate Corey's piece that he built so I just studied Corey's work and I, I figured out how he did it and he explained a little bit how he did it and uh, I think it turned out great especially with the materials he sent this slag pit hopefully represents a slag pit I hope if it'll fool most people that's good enough for me but my 4100, this is why I built this pit. I built a smaller one before, and eh, it's just too small, and my crane wouldn't even fit up there. So, this is what we got now. And that's pretty much it. I, I'm either, I, I, I'm building a drag line bucket, but it's such a real pain to take, you know, the hook off and just reeve all this up, you know, just for a drag line bucket. So, I'm going to do it the really hard way and just make another 4100 for this drag line. The only difference on the next 4100 will be uh, the cab on the new or the next build will be off center or actually out this way and elevated and there will be a walkway right here. You know that's just for this particular crane, the drag line. And my, my idea is now, to incorporate Corey's piece into my build, I'm going to put it right here. But I don't know if i got enough room where I want to put this. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I made these. This is uh, supposed to be slag pot skull. It's dumped out and hardened in the pot, and they just dump it right out. That's supposed to represent that. I haven't found the right paint to really make it pop. I'll find it. And then I'll touch back on this. These are a little large anyway. I made this out of a uh, muffin container actually. It's got the closing mechanism of the muffin container. And it's cone shaped. So I just poured plaster in there with a little saran wrap inside so it doesn't stick. And the saran wrap also gave me these ripples and ridges and stuff like that. So then I used a dental pick and just kind of picked those out more where the saran wrap was in the plaster. That worked pretty good. Eh, but I'm still not happy with it. It's not realistic enough. Yeah, figure it out as we go along, I suppose. But uh, here is the Chips Ahoy cooking container piling wall in place, painted, ready to rock and roll. I think it turned out really good. And even uh, my 20 year old hot glue gun just keeps getting hotter and when I glued this stuff in place on this foam, it melted the foam quite easily and then it also melted the piling wall making these big dents in gouges or just big dents in the piling wall and I thought yeah, you know what, that's a cool effect. It was totally accidental but you know, hey, it'll work. It's a steel mill. Stuff's going to be dented. And that is about it of this build. All I have to do is set it right over, right about there, in that big pile of junk. And that is it. Yeah, I think I'll just make another drag. Yeah, and a whole another crane. That's where, that's the easy way, right? I mean, why do this when you can just do it the hard way and make another crane? I'm going to do it the hard way. God bless you all. Hold on tight. Because it's coming. Bye.